In our previous lectures, we have discussed about the maximum and minimum values of the function and also the local maximum and local minimum values of a function. In this lecture, we will understand global maximum and global minimum value of a function. Now, observe the following graph. In this graph, we find that the point A is the highest point on the curve because the ordinate f of A is greater than all other ordinates. Hence, we call f of A as the global maximum value and A is the global maximum point. Similarly, the point C is the lowest point of the graph because the ordinate f of C is the smallest than the all other ordinates of the other points on the graph. Therefore, we call f of C as the global minimum value and C is the point of global minimum. So, roughly now we have understood the terms global maximum and global minimum. Let us see the formal definition for the same. The global maximum value of a function, the definition is, let f be a real valued function defined on the domain T. Then, f of x is said to have the greatest value or global maximum value at a point A in its domain if f of x is less than or equal to f of A for all x in the domain of fx. So, as we have seen earlier, f of x is less than or equal to f of A. That means, f of x means uh, the ordinates of other points. All of them are less than this ordinate f of a. Hence, we are calling this as global maximum. And a is called the point of maximum. And f of a is called the global maximum value of the function on d. So, this is how we define global maximum value of a function. Now, let us now proceed to define the global minimum value of a function. The definition for this is, let f be a real valued function defined on the domain D, then f of x is said to have the least value or global minimum value at a point A in its domain if f of x is greater than or equal to that value f of a for all x in the domain of fx. That means all other ordinates must be greater than this ordinate f of a. Then we say f of a as the global minimum value and a is called the point of minimum. So, however, in the figure I was using the letter C and f of C. Now, let us make a small change here. Here I am using the letter C and f of C. Therefore, the definition also we can simply replace C wherever there is A and we can replace also f of A by f of c so that f of x is greater than or equal to f of c. Therefore, we have seen here that f of x that is the ordinates of other points on the graph, they are greater than f of c. Therefore, we call f of c as the global minimum value and c is called the point of minimum. 
Now that we have seen the definitions of global maximum and global minimum, let us see a few observations. The first is global maximum is also called absolute maximum. And similarly, global minimum can also be called absolute minimum. Both mean one and the same. The second observation is a local maximum value need not be the global maximum value. And a global maxima can be a local maxima. Therefore, if we see in the graph, a local maximum value need not be the global maximum value. Then we have the third point in this observation. A local minimum value need not be the global minimum value. And also a global minima can be a local minima. So we will see this also. A local minimum value. Now these are the local minimum values. We have three local minimum values. However, these two are not the global minimum values, but this, this is both local minimum as well as global minimum. So, a global minimum can be a local minimum, but local minimum need not be global minimum. Hence, we have discussed and understood and defined the global maximum and global minimum in this lecture.